Hello, and welcome back to another edition of Carrie's Gardening Channel. Today is July the 5th, 2018, and uh, the Japanese beetles have been coming out. They will destroy your trees, they'll destroy your gardens, your flower beds. They love to eat your rose blooms. So uh, it's really important to make a trap to deal with these things so you can get rid of them. So these are homemade traps here that we've actually made. My dad makes these. And uh, we use the Spectracide Japanese Beetle Trap Lure. We, hold on a minute here. We take a small little piece of the lure, which is right here off, and we stick it in a piece of plastic, and we use the yellow milk jugs. You can use the bigger milk jugs. You can see the Japanese beetles on here. They're in the trap here, and you can see the ones down here. These are in the water. This was just um, put out at 10 o'clock this morning. And it's about, what time? It's about two o'clock right now. And you can see all the Japanese beetles in these. And uh, we took uh, a mayonnaise jar, cut a hole in the lid, and put the milk jug in it. And the Japanese beetles fall down into this jar down here and they can't get out and you put water in it so uh, it helps to get rid of them. You can see them just swarming around here and uh, oh they're buzzing my hair and these would be ones that would be eating all of our stuff. We put a bunch of these traps out we really see that they work and uh, they're pretty easy to make. We have more of them set up. We got a pesky one. So uh, we have about eight traps out, and uh, off, of one piece of lore. off of one piece of lure, you can make, you can about, make ten traps. about ten traps compared to, one. compared to one of the ones that you buy. We've actually bought the ones already. They've never worked for us. This has been something we've been using and doing for years, and plus you get to recycle. So. Uh, once your trap gets full, you will want to empty it. Now it will have a, a not so pleasant smell to it. So uh, I recommend that you keep emptying it and just refilling the bottom drawer with water after you empty it and put it like away from your patio area uh, so you don't, you're not bothered by the smell of it when you empty them. And um, you do have to let the Japanese beetles die before you empty them. So that they're not out crawling around and flying around again because that would defeat the purpose of your trap. And uh, this is, you can use the big milk jugs like I said and you can use the half gallon ones. They seem to like the yellow, it reminds them of like your plants and flowers so they'll go to it more than they will anything else. And uh, I will have a link down below for the lure that we use. You can check that out, and we'll also do a video then on how to actually make one of these traps. So if you like my video, please like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, you can leave them below, and I'll try and answer them for you. Please don't forget to hit that little notification button. I'll try to put a new video on. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a nice day. Bye.